An alarming story with new details about the six year old boy from Virginia who shot his teacher. His family is now breaking their silence, speaking for the first time since the shooting. ABC's Jenai Norman has the details. This morning, regret for the family of the first grader accused of shooting his teacher. Female victim, she's been shot in the abdomen as well as a through and through into the hand. The nation stunned earlier this month when Newport News Virginia police responded to Rich Neck Elementary School for a six-year-old who'd opened fire. The family now revealing in a statement to ABC News, our son suffers from an acute disability and was under a care plan at the school that included his mother or father attending school with him and accompanying him to class every day. The week of the shooting was the first week when we were not in class with him. We will regret our absence on this day for the rest of our lives. Police say the first grader took his mother's legally purchased 9 millimeter handgun from home and fired one round at 25 year old Abigail Zwerner as she taught the elementary students. It, it felt like something out of a really bad nightmare. Desiree Yvette's daughter was one of the more than a dozen children in that classroom. She just, she's scared because Ms. Warner is her favorite girl. She would always say it and <laughs> For her to get shot, my daughter doesn't know anymore, like, who's safe and she's scared that the people she loves will get hurt. The family telling ABC News they have been cooperating with local and federal law enforcement, adding that the firearm our son accessed was secured. Police still investigating how the six-year-old got a hold of the gun and questions mounting after school leaders told parents they got a tip that the student had a weapon, even searched his backpack, but didn't find the firearm before Zwerner was shot. Terrified parents and faculty members voiced frustrations at a recent school board meeting. I send my kids to school and find myself praying to God that they will return home safely. Our students do not wonder if there will be another school shooting. They wonder when and where the next shooting will be. And the teacher injured in this shooting is now back home and recovering.